James 1, 19 says, Wherefore, my beloved brother, let every man be swift to hear. Oh, that's a problem. Isn't it? Some of us got a machine gun mouth. Yeah. I've met people in New York and Louisiana. Before you get something said in the church, I met them in Memphis. They're talking so fast they didn't hear nothing you said. But the book said, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, that's yeah. sister Sue. That's right. Ah, let every man, woman, <coughs> be swift to him. Yes. The best way to stay out of trouble, it continues in the same verse by saying, and slow to speak. Oh. Some of us can't help ourselves. We gotta tell you what I thought before I think. Oh. Only fools talk. Before they think. That's why. Right. That's the book said. And then you stop and say, I shouldn't have said that, but you spoke before you thought. Mm -hmm. But he said, be slow to speak. Stop and think before you talk. Yeah. All right. Think about who you're talking to. Yeah. Think about what you're talking about. Yeah. Think about what you're talking about doing or not doing. Oh, y'all yeah. oh, ain't hear me. Come on, man. Come on. Slow to rap. Quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to get mad. I got some of y'all sitting here looking at me, so uh, I have to hit them and think about it later. <laughs> That's not good salvation, y'all. Oh, Jesus said, hold your peace. And I fight your battle. Everywhere I go, I find somebody that's ready to go. Ready to take it on myself. Lay my religion on the shelf. And when I get through with what I'm doing with you, I'll come back and pick it up. Let's don't do it in the church. Let's go outside the church. Yeah. You even got an invited. That means you have you you are predicting what you're gonna do outside before you get outside. Why don't you stop and be slow to speak? Did y'all know this? You can't take back what you say. That's the truth. Once it's out there, it's gone. That's the truth. Don't you know when you're upset, don't write no letter because you can't erase it once they got it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. You can't make a statement on TV and tell about, oh, I'm sorry. That's the truth. They may say, I accept your apology, but they remember what you say is documented. Oh, yeah. the truth. And they'll play it over and over in a three seconds. <laughs> Come on and say amen. Amen. Then goes on to say, James says, uh, uh, for the wrath of man, he says, slow, uh, he, he told you, he, slow, slow to speak. Don't, 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 don't talk right here. Don't talk. Amen. Slow to speak. Swift to hear. Get in a hurry to hear. But wait a minute, hush, and I want to hear what he said. I want to hear what he said. Some of y'all are all different than me. If I said what the point Sister Lori said to Sister Griffin, continue to talk in my ear, I'm trying to hear, I did not move. And when she asked me what's the matter, I said, if you're running your mouth too much, I can't hear. Right. I mean, what's wrong with telling the truth? If you buy me, you won't shut up and I want to hear. Don't pass me no note. Uh -oh. Don't show me no number on the telephone. Don't show me an email on the screen. Don't discuss with me whether the pastor or who's speaking is right or wrong. Yeah. Shut up! I want to hear. That's it. Over here. The only way you can be saved is by hearing. If you don't hear the word, you can't get the word. Slow to speak. Quick to hear. Don't get mad so fast. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Now let me help y'all. There is no way on earth you get mad in any form or fashion that God is in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. God is not in you getting up there. My God, thank you. Well, the Bible told me that I could be angry as long as I don't see it. And you raising hell on that scripture, you already done backslid. Because it told you to be angry, don't sin, 
you're going to get in sin and continue to sin in. Yeah. <laughs> because you're sinning with your mouth. Yeah. 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 It told you to be slow to speak and you running like a racehorse. Who's he talking to? You that run your mouth. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. Jesus oh, is talking yes. about it. That's right. Yes. 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 You, 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 you got to remember getting mad is not a part of God. God has nothing to do with you getting angry. I don't like him. So what? Now God don't like you. Well, I, I just got a lesson yesterday, but you just backstay. You open your mouth and say, I don't like her. I don't like him. So now God don't like you. So God don't like her. Amen. Well, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I can't stand him. Don't want to hear her saying. No use to read the scripture because I really don't respect her reading the scripture. You need to come to church not to respect others, but to respect God. All right. All right. Get something for yourself. That's right. Now that's the that's truth. Right. James said, wherefore lay apart all filthiness yes. and superfluity of nothingness mm. and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to to save your soul. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now, 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 that kind of got me to looking a little deeper in what James was talking about. Uh, because as I looked at it, naughtiness and superficial security and, and receiving with meekness, the ingratitude, uh, to save your soul, here's what you got to do. I want to point this out to you. I'm talking about filthiness. Yeah. Let's, let, let's, let, let's go on no further. I don't know about not one of you all in here that's in love with filthiness. Mm -hmm. There was a man came to me one time in my ministry, he pastor about 54 years, and he got caught up in adultery. He had a wife. But he got caught up in adultery and, 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 and he got called by the legal system before I got called into the council. And when I finally got called into it, the legal system hired a counselor that was not religious for the both of them to see why he did it. Only to find out his wife did not clean up nice. A little heavy so there was dirt in the wrinkles of her flesh. Oh. When he kissed or attempted to make love to her, she smelled, turned him off mentally, sexually, and husbandly. And he resorted to a younger, smaller, cleaner woman. And uh, the counselor took me in and said, we told her to take a bath every day. Why would you need somebody to tell you to take a bath every day? Amen. Filthiness is undesired by anybody. Yeah. I don't know if I want it. I get, I go in the kitchen and I get a paper plate that I would have taken some frozen chicken nuggets, put them in the microwave and set them on four, cooked them and fed them to Chris. He would come back and say, I want some more chicken nuggets. And I would pick up that plate he had, and he said, Daddy, that plate is nasty. I said, Chris, you just had your own chicken. But Daddy, look at it. Yeah. <laughs> it's nasty. Yeah. I said, well, what you want me to do? I said, that's your. That's your. He said, get another plate. Yeah. That one is nasty. Yeah. Six years old, recognized filth. Yeah. I'm all here. And we adults in the church want to do what we want to do and think it's all right. 